Hi, this is Tweek. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweek. Today, we're going to continue with our series that I call ESP, Endangered Species Project. It's our way to make something that we can hang out on our door as a reminder to people to think about the animals we share the planet with. And it's a fun thing to do, too. So join us. Hi, future me notice as we film this episode, there's a little more noise than usual in the background. And I just will have to show you what that noise was. We got a new little guy and he can't help it. Whatever noise he makes, he makes up for and cute. Isn't he adorable? I can't hold it against him for being noisy. Just too cute. You'd be noisy anytime, sweetie. <laughs> Supplies you'll need for this project are cardboard lots of cardboard you'll need some paper a sharpie a pencil you'll need a pair of scissors an exacto knife you'll need a variety of acrylic paint you'll need hot glue you'll need brushes some water and you'll need some chain to hang the project when you're done so let's get going when I got the idea to do a little series on endangered species, I enlisted the help of some family members and asked them to look at the endangered species list and choose an animal that I can feature on the program. And today's is an elephant, requested by my nephew. Of the several species of elephants, most of them are endangered. The African elephant is critically endangered. And that is the one I'm going to do today, an African elephant. We begin with drawing an image. Now, that's pretty easy for me. Took a piece of paper, looked at an image of an elephant, and came up with the design I liked. Then I took cardboard, cut out the image of the paper, traced it onto cardboard, and cut it out. So there's my cardboard image cut out. Then I repeated that process so I had at least three cutouts. And then I proceeded to cut those out, making like puzzle pieces, and I'll show you how I put them all together. Taking one of the pieces of cardboard, I'm gonna paint it. The first layer will be a darker gray, and I'll lighten it up as I go. So let's mix up some paint. I've got a bowl here, and I've got acrylic paint, white and black, which is gonna make gray. I'm gonna make a lot of it because I have a lot of painting to do. I'm putting in more black than white, and I can add more to it if I need to. Okay, this is my base color, and I'm just gonna paint the whole piece of cardboard. This is a fun activity for kids, too. You make your shape as you paint it, the cardboard, which I really enjoy working with, starts bubbling up. You start seeing the texture of the of the paper in the cardboard start coming out with the wet of the paint. And that's a part of the fun of this project is to see what the cardboard is going to do. And even though I'm going to have the tusks on this elephant, this base piece is going to be all dark. Think of it as a shadowing of the final piece. First level, done. I'm gonna leave that set to dry, and I'm gonna add a little bit of color to this to lighten it up. I want to just graduate the colors up. I think I want a little more white in there. Okay, here we go. Next layer. I'm going to do three in total. Next layer. Here we go. It's just a little bit lighter. And I want a shadowing effect. When I put him all together, sandwich the cardboard pieces together. And as you can see, the color's just slightly, see, slightly different. Uh, the elephants are mostly gray. There's not a whole lot of color variation. 
and I'm just playing off of that to bring some dimension in. I am going to lighten up more paint. But first, I would like to dry these guys. I'm going to list the help of my dryer. Here we go. Okay, we've got two of our levels done. A darker on the bottom. These cutouts don't have to be exacting. I tried to get them as close as I could, but and now you see a little bit of a shadowing effect is going to happen with this next color. Now I'm going to lighten it up once more. I'll let you guys come out here. And here's our last. I want a little more of a contrast, so a little more white. Elephants are our largest land animal alive. If you want a very quick uh, lesson, go to Nat Geo and we've got little segments on animals. And in four minutes, I learned so much about elephants in the video that they have there. So it's a nice resource if you want to learn about the animals that are endangered or in trouble. Boy, that hair dryer makes fast work of the drying. So, here's what we've got. So you have dark to lighter to lighter. And we're gonna put those together. So I want like a shadowing effect. In the meantime, we took that picture and I cut it up into, think of it as puzzle pieces. So there was a, a left ear and a right ear. I wanted to highlight the ears. See? I cut that out. I cut out the main part of the head. And with that, I cut out little tusks that were going to go on each side in the cardboard. Those would obviously be painted a different color. And I painted a trunk. Oh, I have extra pieces here. I painted a trunk. Now this was kind of neat because when I cut it out, the cardboard started bending and it reminded me of the actual bends and little folds you see in their trunks as they use them. So that'll go like that. And then I have a couple little eyes cut out. Here's the ear. So I'm gonna paint all these pieces and then we'll start assembly. I've saved back the gray. You guys are later. We're going to take these pieces. Here's the piece I was looking for. It's its head. And so these pieces here, that fit like a puzzle, they all need to be painted the same gray I used on this main piece here. And the trunk. So I've got to get to painting. And here we go. And we're going to dry again. Come here, dryer. Here we go, lots to dry. There we go. All right, my pieces are dry. So up to this point, we have the head, the trunk, the ears, And I'll start by assembling the base. And to add a little more depth between them, I'm gonna put little pieces of cardboard, just hot glue them in so you see a little bit of a space. I have just random cardboard. I want just little dots. I'm gonna take this strip and 
cut little chunks of it. And I'm just going to place them in and around. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and add a little bit of cardboard. Okay, a little bit of glue. I want the depth separation of the layers. I don't want to add too much weight to the project. I guess I could use a thicker cardboard, but I'm making use with what I've got. Yes, I like that. Just a little bit of a difference, but I see more of a gap and I see more of a shadowing that I'm looking for. So on this point, I'm just going to add some dots quickly and press gently. I didn't put any in this trunk, did I? That's okay. Got just a hint of a shadowing there, like that. Now we're going to do the same thing on this level because we're going to bring in the next color. Three layers affixed. Same process. Take the layer, add little inserts. We're up to this point now. Here comes a little more fun for me. We're going to take these other pieces and add them in one at a time. Put a little bit of space between. That's going to look like a puzzle. I'm making sure I just have the right pieces. So first piece goes the ear. I might have to cut up a few more pieces. I want to make sure I don't come in too far. So here we go. Little cardboard sandwiches. See the difference between just letting it lay flat and bringing it up just a little bit? I like that. Okay, we'll go with the head next. The basic part of his head. I'll lift it up a little bit. I want it to be a little less than the ears. I want the ears kind of sticking out. So I'm going to put just one level there so you get a little bit of a differentiation. Plus I'm going to have the trunk coming in too. So this one here, let's cut up a few more pieces of cardboard. A little bit of wiggle room before it dries. So you see there's a little bit, the head is just a little bit in from the ears. Wow, you get pretty spongy, Mr. Elephant. I'm liking this. All right, now this ear. This one's going to be brought up two levels. Making sure that's the, yep, that's the right way. Okay, here we go. Before I attach that, I have to think about the tusks. So the tusks, buddy up there, and there. I'm not liking how much is here. I'm going to cut that down a little bit. And I don't want them this color, so I'm going to paint them. And I'm going to put the trunk on last. So right now, I want to paint our tusks. And that's going to be a little bit of white. 
All right, so we are going to make an ivory tusk color. I know it's not pure white. Um, they have teeth very much like ours, only bigger, way bigger. And I want a little bit of white, just a titch, tiniest bit. I'm gonna touch it with this gray and see what happens. Yeah, I think that is too gray. I want it way more whiter than that, so let's do it this way. Take some white. This is gonna sound silly, but I'm gonna add a little bit of bronze. You know, our teeth get kind of yellowy and brown when we get old and use them. tusks. All right, those guys wanted to fly off. And all right, so I'm going to take away the nose and I'm going to apply these straight on, no extra. the nose to start out flat and come out a little bit. So I'm going to attach the nose flat here and then bring it up just a little bit with some of the little, the little pieces of cardboard. Look at how do I want my elephant to look. I like that. All right, here we go. A little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. And I'm going to attach glue to this part here. So I know exactly where the placement's going to be. Here, 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 here. And then press down. So his nose starts out at his face and comes out like a trunk lid. Now, almost done with you, my goodness. Eyeballs. See what we got so far? Hey, pretty cool. All right, eyeballs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach strands are getting me again. I'm going to attach the eyes right near the top of the trunk there. Like I've said before, when you use these googly eyes, they're made of plastic, thin plastic, and they will melt. So I put a little bit of glue, let it set for just a second, and then apply the eye. And so I'm going to go right about in here. And because I don't want him to look too, too joyful, I want him to be a little more serious. I'm going to take some cardboard and I'm going to fashion him an eyelid. Okay, getting there. Hmm. Is he going to look too stern, you think? <laughs> See how it has layers in it? I'm actually liking that because it looks like a lid there with all the folds, so. Well, that makes him look real, way more realistic, doesn't it? <laughs> look at that. Okay, I am pleased with that. Kind of haphazard and unexpected, but I'm gonna paint that gray right now. Good thing I saved my last color there. And just paint his lid. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the of the paper color up there by his eye like it would be his eyelid. Just using the cardboard, taking it apart, seeing what it does. I think I'll pull a little more of that one over to match the other. We have got our eyeballs. What is left? We need to add just a little few highlights to his face and then we're going to varnish him and add his hanger. By highlights, I mean just a few of these crevices here. I'm going to make use of them by highlighting them a little bit and a little bit in his ear and a couple of eyebrows. Some black, dark mixed up here. I'm just going to put a little bit of it down onto this piece of cardboard. I don't want a lot. A little teeny fine brush. I'm going to give him, first of all, a couple of eyebrows. I'm going to add just a few of the lines that you can see in their trunks. Okay, so I want 
to use the, my original drawing as a reference here to add a few more character lines. So I don't need much of this dark paint, but there was a line going up in his ear. I just want a little bit of a line there that shows that's where his ears are. I should stop. Eyebrows, eyes, tusks, trunk. All right, so I'm going to add some chain bead as a hanger. This comes in a big, big bunch. I want enough to poke it through the cardboard. I'm going to use my trusty meat thermometer just because it's easy and it's not too dangerous. I'm going to pick a spot on his ear, right about in here, on the back level. I'm just going to poke through. See? Just poke through. And that'll be enough for the chain to fit through. There it goes. The chain goes through. Now let's make another hole. Same area right about there on the back piece. Poke hole. I'll take these two ends here and put the connector on them. Next, almost done, we're going to decoupage varnish the outside, not the inside, just the outside. And this is when the colors pop a little and then the, the cardboard starts bubbling. I like that effect. done. Done with the hair dryer. And you, Mr. Elephant, let's see how you turned out. And there you have it. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, let's think about the elephants and how we can help them to survive along with us on this planet with a friendly little reminder. See you again.